Since the death of young Dolph has been announced, there's been speculation about the cause of his death, those involved in the motive behind such actions. There's what we saw on the news, there's what the police reported, and then there's what's been said on the streets. Now the new revelation is taking us in another direction. There's a lot going on and you'll soon find out in this video. The news of young Dolph's death came so sudden and it greatly shook the streets and the industry as a whole. We all had questions and said a lot of things about the situation. One thing that was common is his ops being involved in his death using his ally or simply put gang beef. Well yeah, the big news is that it has something to do with gang beef. But before I go further, you have to know that this information is not 100% confirmed, but are just stories on the streets linked together. If it makes sense or not, you'll decide at the end. The issue has something to do with gang beef, as I said earlier, and though it started with a gang, it didn't start with beef. It all started with the Trula Mafia, which is a Memphis-based gang that has existed for a long time. In this gang existed Big Scar and Jay Money, who are known to be rappers. Jay Money was known for his rap as well as his activities on the streets, and as you know, these activities get them into trouble. It wasn't long before Jay Money found himself facing charges for the murder of a guy named Denzel Monroe. I don't know much about that case and how it all played out, but Jay Money wasn't kept in jail for long. Guess he beat the case ASAP. While that shouldn't be a reason to celebrate for Jay Money and his friends, it turned out to be a bad idea as it only gave his ops the chance to retaliate the death of Denzel. His death was, of course, so painful to his gang that they paid him tributes. One of them by the name of Trey Savage, Glow, wrote, Damn bro, on blood, your ass was a bug. You was just in Cali. You hit me up bro, I was gone. Damn little bro, I told you to stay in. But stay out the way. Chirac to Memphis, hashtag Trula, hashtag Trula. His death must have caused some serious problems with the other side that I know nothing about, but I bet it can't be as serious as the problem it caused even on Trula's side. Now the start of the problem. Because of Jay Money's death, maybe or maybe not, somehow Big Scar decided he wanted to go apart from Trula Mafia and have a new setup of his own. He left the gang and founded Double R, which stands for Rich and Reckless. Guys from Trula found that move to be a really disrespectful one. Since then, the issue planted tiny seeds of problems that eventually sprouted into very big problems. Of course, when stuff like this happens, you expect a kind of beef to follow, and that's exactly how it happened. You wouldn't believe that apart from beefing one another as a gang, there were several beefs in between, and one of those beefs is between BG of Rich and Reckless and C-Mode of Trula. They both started to send shots at each other on tracks and on social media. It got serious, and soon BG got murdered, and his body was found. At first, there was no suspect arrested for his murder, but as you know, the Double R guys must have had a clue. They always do, no matter what the police say. Actually, they pulled up on BG at a red light and sent tons of shots at his car. The Double R guys believed that the Trulas did that to BG, and later after the police investigated, a guy called Go Crazy, who was affiliated with Trula, ended up getting arrested and locked up for the whole thing. Although that made it seem like the guys were right, it still didn't satisfy them because they believe it wasn't just Go Crazy but C-Mode and one of the Trula member was there that day. You must be wondering how they could be that sure about the guys that were involved in BG's death. Well, that's because one of the other guys from Double R called 23 was also in the vehicle with BG when the vehicle was shot up. And yeah, he was hit too but somehow survived the hit. Trula was happy when they learned that he survived the attack and went ahead to finally take him out to finish what they started. That was one of the biggest losses of Double R because they also lost 23 not long after BG was killed as well. Double R had to look for a chance to retaliate, so they had their eyes on a knot from Trula. Around that time, C-Mode was in juvie for a crime he committed as he wasn't an adult. Not long after, he was released and as soon as he got out, he wasn't happy with the situation. Probably he felt all was too cool in the streets without violence. He then went ahead to release a diss track targeted at Double R. After that diss, Double R's attention was shifted to C-Mode and that made him a big target for his ops. Unfortunately, it was D-Money, J-Money's brother who got hit. CEO Jizzle of Double R talked about the situation of D-Money's death in his song, what went down and also why he was taken out. D-Money was said to have publicly dissed 23 and that got his gang mad and found a way to punish the offender with death. In CEO Jizzle's track titled Rich and Ruthless, he raps, if you diss on 23, swear to God you gon' be R.I.P. You ain't hear what happened to the last dude. You got left on Trig Street. That location he mentioned was where they reportedly found D-Money dead. You know, we listen to songs and so many times don't pay attention to what they say. It's like that because if there's no story attached to these songs, it's just crazy to start assuming what the lyrics mean. Well, some fans noticed and one of them commented. I know, I'm not the only one who heard what he said about TS5. Now that you know what went down with these gangs, let's put them aside and talk about how all these things involve Young Dolph. 
when Trula was still ho before the death of Jay Money. And before Big Scar got separated from the gang, Young Dolph was really close with Jay Money, hence rode well with Trula. After the separation and beginning of the feud, Young Dolph was expected to sit on the fence and not pick sides. You know, that's what's up on the streets. When there's beef, if you're rolling with the side, it shows that you picked your preferred side and automatically become an enemy of the other side. You're not expected to be in the middle either. Now, I don't know if Young Dolph knew all of that before he made his decision, or he was just not interested in the beef and went ahead to do what he did. What exactly did he do? He signed a guy called Uncle Danny, also known as Big Unk. Now, here's the big deal and the problem. Big Unk was said to be the one that took out D Money, J Money's brother. Remember, J Money was a very close friend of Young Dolph. Oh, now you see where the problem's at, right? There's another issue with Big Unk apart from the fact that he murdered D Money. He was also close to Big Scar, who separated himself from the gang. Now you see how much of a problem Big Unk is. When the news of Young Dolph signing Big Unk circulated, it already became a discussion which resulted into a problem. Not long after that, the death of Young Dolph was announced. At first, most people thought it was Black Youngsta and Yo Gotti. Well, you can't blame anyone who had that in mind and that's because they had a crazy beef going on at that time. The beef that became crazy since Young Dolph put out his project, King of Memphis. They weren't cool because Yo Gotti claimed the same title. We also can't forget the fact that Black Youngster made an attempt on Young Dolph's life at a time. Remember when Dolph's car got hit about a hundred times, but fortunately for him, the car was bulletproof. In that case, Youngster and some were arrested before they got released for the lack of concrete evidence. The fact that Youngster was suspected in that case made him and Yo Gotti easy suspects of his death. That's crazy. But what's more crazy is that those involved in the death of Young Dolph are said to be affiliated with the Trula Mafia. Even the founder of Trula was one of those arrested in connection to the case, though one of the suspects was said to have escaped during the transfer. A lot of speculation after young Dolph's death points to jealousy from his people who ended up taking his life, or that of his ops, and the persons of Youngsta and Yogati finally had their way by killing him. Now it's another story entirely as it seems his old homies took his life for picking sides. While that's not confirmed, something else happened on Facebook after Dolph's death that you might find interesting or useful in this case. Someone posted on Facebook that if J Money was alive, he would have done something to those who killed Dolph. He wrote, J Money would have had these streets crying about Dolph. J Money's mom saw that and replied to the post and wrote that Dolph didn't have the streets crying about J Money and that he also signed the guy that killed D Money. Even if that wasn't the motive behind Dolph's killing, there were discussions going on the underground about that. If not, J Money's mom won't comment that way publicly. Whether Trula put a hitter on young Dolph or not, it's clear that some people didn't want him alive from the way he tragically lost his life. About the case of Dolph's murder, Justin Johnson, known as Straight Drop, was captured in January, and according to the Shelby County District Attorney's Office, the second suspected gunman, Cornelius Smith, was also arrested and booked into Shelby County Jail, charged with first-degree murder of Dolph's death. Smith is also charged with attempted murder for allegedly shooting at young Dolph's brother, who was with him inside Makita's Cookies at the time of the shooting. Also after that, two other people got named as persons of interest in the case, which means the police found something on those two people. It's not clear where all of this is headed, but the truth will probably be revealed during the course of the trial. Or what do you think? Let me have your thoughts in the comments section. Hey you, yeah you, did you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like and all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on it fast because this message is self-destruct in 5 seconds.